Blake was diagnosed with T-cell ALL, which is a form of leukemia. Um, he was four years old, and he thankfully has come through the three and a half year treatment, and he completed his uh, chemotherapy treatment last October. And so we're just, we're so thankful and blessed and happy to reach this point. Let's go. Carlos Vela. Because I've been watching him for a long time and he's just really good and I like him a lot. He was a warrior. Uh, it's another thing we, we say he, he was a much better patient than I would have been, for sure. Here we are almost four years later and it's it, it was you know, quite a journey, but we're, you don't you don't want anyone to have to go through it, but there are some silver linings truly um, in kind of just realizing how precious everything is and, and uh, you don't take things for granted and you know, you can you can come out stronger from an experience like this. And I think Blake's proof of that. Me and my sister were definitely there whenever he would come back from the hospital for some periods of times. We'd always play with him, or we'd definitely have more attention towards him when we were speaking with him and stuff. And we'd always talk about fun things that we used to do, and maybe the sports he'd be able to play when he's when he's later done with his treatment. And now seeing him here doing everything that we thought he'd be doing, it's just great. Same. Trip, his brother, who's here, he has another sister, Patton. They were just amazing teammates, cheerleaders, uh, and strong support for him. They went to the hospital with him a lot, uh, spent time when he was getting his chemo treatments, and, and were just amazing supporters. And, uh, you know, really brought our family together. You know, adversity does that to, to people, and, and this was a little adversity, but um, just, you know, great teamwork to, to come through the other side, so. Play football? Left, right, center. We only have one. Ah, okay. Hard tackle or you like more attacking? <laughs> nice. Good job, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Carlos Bella, there he is right there. Oh my God. Same picture with these guys. Thank you so much, Carlos. You're walking with Blake on Sunday. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. I will work for you on Sunday. Okay? Take care. Nice to come. Nice to come. Thank you. What? What? How sweet is that? I think today is a perfect example of why they do this. This is beyond Blake's wildest dreams. Um, and, you know, he loves LAFC, he loves Carlos Vela. Um, and, I mean, gosh, all the guys were incredible today. I mean, you can't, this is one of those days you can't even, you can't describe it to others because of, you, it would sound like you're exaggerating when how amazing everyone, everyone here was today and all the players, all everyone involved with LAFC and make a wish to make this happen is what a cool experience. Blake is a reserved human being and you could see the smile on his face and he's just doing backflips inside of his head. Blake, what's up buddy? How are you man? Did you have fun today? There will definitely be a little bit of trepidation as well for in front of that many people, um, but I know he will step up to the occasion. Um, just, I mean, he'll be living his dream, uh, which is how many people can say that. Um, so it will be a truly remarkable experience for him. And I'm just so thankful to everyone for making it happen and, and being able to watch your child do that is pretty remarkable.